Hi, in today's video I will discuss about high voltage power supply using flyback transformer or a pulsed high voltage power supply. So first uh, I will start from the flyback transformer. Uh, flyback transformer which is also called a line open transformer uh, which is used to generate high voltages uh, like uh, a pulses or you can say a voltage that have a shape of sawtooth. So uh, initially these transformers were used to generate high voltages that can be further used in industries or, or also have some other applications like in cathode ray tubes or in televisions. So these high voltages can be generated using a flyback transformer. Also a uh, flyback transformer uh, is uh, nothing but just a couple inductors which, uh, which is uh, somehow or uh, which is uh, different from a typical transformer in the sense that as we know that in typical transformer when the current flows in the primary coil in the same time the current flows in the secondary time but in flyback transformer not uh, this will not happen like in flyback transformer when the current flows in the secondary in the primary coil which is is an inductor which, which will store energy as we know that the energy stored in inductor is uh, energy equal to 1 over 2 L I square. So when the current flows in the primary coil, the energy will be stored in it and when the current stops in the primary coil, then the current fl will flow in secondary coil, which is different from the primary, uh, which is different from the uh, conventional or typical transformer. So in flyback transformer, when current flows in the primary coil, there will be no current in the secondary coil. And when there is no current in the primary coil, then there will be current in secondary coil. I will discuss it later. So uh, it can generate uh, up to 50 kilowatts or you can say 100 kilowatts with a high frequency like up to 10 kilowatts. So uh, coming to the circuit diagram, uh, like I will discuss the IRX flyback driver. So here we have a high voltage transformer uh, that is have a let suppose a 5 to 10 turns at primary and at secondary suppose 1000 or 1500 turns and for this we will use ferrite core, iron ferrite core. You will not use a silicon uh, based or silicon steel based core because as we know that here the frequency is in kilohertz so we will use the ferrite core. Here the driver uh, is uh, the triple five timer IC will, which will generate uh, pulses that will drive the MOSFET and let's suppose when a high when our own signal came here like we, we have our own signal here then the current will flow in the primary coil through the MOSFET and also here there will be a diode that will uh, prevent the current in the secondary when there is current in the primary. I will discuss this thing in the simulation and then we will implement the circuit practically. So here uh, we have a 12 to 16 volt supply uh, that uh, can also uh, drive the triple five hammer IC that will generate uh, pulses or monopolar pulses that will again drive the MOSFET current flow here which will energize this coil and when current stops here the whole energy will transform to the secondary coil and as we know that uh, inductor equation is V equal to LDI by DT. So it, this secondary coil will have some inductance and as we know that due to magnetic flux changes some current will generate here with DI by DT. So if we have more inductance of the secondary coil and the current changes abruptly we will have very high voltages in the output. So uh, coming towards the simulation of this circuit and we will see that at the output we will get a high voltage pulses. So coming towards the simulation in LT spice. As in the LT spice uh, I have a drive uh, are given the VC of, of 12 volt to the triple five timer IC and the same 12 volt goes to the primary of the flyback transformer. Here uh, we can see the diode here. Also, one thing uh, to remember that to see the dot convention of the couple inductors, like the dot conventions are here and there, they are in opposite direction. And also, we have a diode. So, let's suppose here a signal comes which will turn on the MOSFET and uh, the current will flow in the primary coil. So, we as we know that when the current enters the dot side at the secondary current will leave the dot side. So which means when the current enter here that is positive mean this point is connected 
to the positive terminal so according to dot convention this point will also be positive which means if this thing is positive this point then this point will be negative with respect to this point so when this point is negative as we know that the diode is then reversed by us so when current flows in the primary there will be no current in the secondary because the diode is reversed by us and there will be no path here to, to the current flow like here we will uh, get a spark of high voltage so the current path is here so if current enter here then no current will be here because the diode will be reversed by us i will repeat this thing like if this point is positive as the current enter here the dot point the current will leave this dot point as a dot convention rule so this point will be positive this point will be negative and no current will be flow here because of the diode which will be reversed by us so when this signal goes off which means this MOSFET will turn off and the whole energy will be uh, stored in this inductor which is uh, 1 over 2 Li square. So this energy will be uh, transformed from the, this energy will be stored in this inductor and the core and this energy will be transformed to the secondary coil. So as we know that when the current stops here as, the pro as we know the property of an inductor is that when the current stops here it will uh, like as we know that v equal to ldi by dt so the current so the inductor opposes the change in the current so when this current stops like when this signal is the gate of the transistor this turns off which means the current will be changed here so the inductor will try to not change the current so uh, to flow the current in that direction this no this point will be positive and this point will be negative because when this point is positive the current can flow through this point through the inductor so the current will oppose the change in the current and this point will become positive so and this point will be negative and according to dot rule if this point is negative which means that this dot side of the transformer will be secondary side will be negative and this point will be positive no, at this time the diode is uh, forward biased and the current will flow here and we will see a high voltage spark here which means the current will flow through the air in the form of spark and comes to the ground. Again I will repeat this as the transistor turns off which means that there will be change in the inductor current and also we know that the inductor opposes the current change so if the the original current direction was from top to bottom now the current in the same direction from the top to bottom this point will be positive and this will be negative which means the current will flow in this direction but the diode is turned but the transistor is turned off so the whole energy will transfer from the primary to the secondary uh, and the energy will uh, transfer to the secondary coil and as this point is negative then this point will be negative which means this point will be at high potential which in turn means the diode will be forward biased and the current will flow in the form of spark so I will run the simulation and we will see what happens to the output first I will uh, also you can place a flyback diode here which will uh, circulate the energy in this coil and which means like as like uh, I will discuss it more like if we have a no diode here there will be high voltage pulses here which which can damage the diode so we can place a reverse diode here that will protect our MOSFET so running the simulation and first uh, we will see the signal at the gate like I will stop the simulation here so we can see that there are 12 volt pulses here at the MOSFET gate and if I see the output the output is high voltage pulses that is about uh, 33 to 35 kilovolt output like I will run the simulation again and we'll see the output here so one thing uh, the primary inductance is 10 micro Henry and the secondary is 100 milli Henry so uh, if I run the simulation the output voltage is about uh, 35 to 34 kilovolt with a frequency of that the frequency depends on the triple five timer square wave frequency so we we get a high voltage pulses here that is about 34 kilovolt 
uh, as we know that this is a high voltage pulse power supply we are getting high voltage pulses okay so uh, let's see the current in the primary the current in the primary is in this form uh, that is a yeah, that's the current in this form and in the secondary it is about in pico amps because here we have not connected any load but in practically there will be some load because when this terminal the broad these terminals are brought near together the the air will uh, will be ionized and the current will flow through the spark uh, and we will see some current here okay so we are getting high voltage pulses and if i see the potential at this point we are also getting at this point uh, we are getting about 360 volt and uh, if there is no diode here or is the if there we play if we, we place a zener diode here then uh, we can protect the mosfet like if uh, the if i have a mosfet of vds rating of let's suppose 200 volt then due to this high voltage pulses the mosfet can be the mosfet can be damaged so to protect this we can either use a diode here or we can use a zener diode here okay so uh, now coming towards our practical implementation and we will see that we will getting a high voltage pulses